If you want to earn authorship on a paper as an undergrad, there's three main ways to do it, and I'm going to go over those right now. The first way is to read lots of papers and then come up with your own question. It may be difficult to figure out where to start when it comes to reading papers, but the best place to start is by reading papers published by people in your lab, whether that's your PI or the graduate students. And this is great because first of all, it'll give you an idea of what projects are going on in the lab and what they've been built off from past research. And it might also give you an idea of what grants you have. And you can always set up meetings with your PI or ask questions from your PI during the lab meetings, but understanding what grants your lab has and what projects could fall under those grants is really important when it comes to formulating your own question. It's also important, like I just said, to have a knowledge of the key concepts and background research in that field so that you can come up with a question that has not already been answered. Another way to gain knowledge and formulate your own question for a project is to participate in journal club meetings. And journal club meetings are basically just a meeting held by most labs where a paper is discussed each week and different people can sign up to analyze the figures like in my lab. This is great because first of all, if you haven't read a lot of scientific papers, it can be hard to digest, especially to analyze some of the figures. And by participating in these meetings, you can ask questions from other very knowledgeable researchers. You can see what it looks like to analyze complicated figures and you can get your own feedback. You know, you can sign up to analyze a figure and people will tell you what you did well and what you did poorly so that when you're working on your own, you have a better sense of what to do. If you have a hard time coming up with your own project, which certainly can be the case, and it was for me, an easier way to get authorship on a paper is just to bring a valuable skill set into someone else's project. Let me give you an example from my lab. One of the graduate students didn't have a lot of experience with machine learning, which was very important for the data collection and analysis we were working on. And I was able to bring that to the table and actually earn authorship on that paper just because of my unique skill set that other people in the lab either didn't have or did have, but didn't have the bandwidth to take on another project. So that was where I was really able to get that opportunity is just because of my unique skill set. The skill sets depend on the specific type of research, but you can easily identify important skill sets by attending lab meetings and hearing what shortfalls different projects have. If someone in a lab meeting says, I don't have someone to work on this aspect of a project, that might be your sign to start taking time to learn how to do that. And maybe communicate with this person and say, you know what, I have time to really learn this skill and I'm interested in working on the project with you. And they might be willing to actually take you on and offer you authorship on their paper. The third way to get authorship on a paper, if both of those sound too difficult, is gonna be to get a scholarship. Now, this might be different depending on your specific school, but at the University of Oregon, which is where I attend college, I was able to get the Knight Undergraduate Research Scholarship. And basically how this works is you and your mentor are given a stipend, which is basically just a payment to help you find time in your day, basically to do research because prior to getting the scholarship, I was not given any money and I was allotting large amounts of time to the research simply because I was interested in it. So that was nice. But the main reason you wanna sign up for these scholarships is because you get paired with a mentor. And when you're paired with a mentor, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a publication out of it, simply because you're both being paid to do something. You're both being paid to come up with a project and follow it through. Now, this may be difficult depending on your institution, but I would highly recommend that you look at scholarship opportunities and at least see if something similar exists because you don't have to have skills and you don't necessarily have to have a lot of paper reading knowledge to come up with a project with your mentor. And you'll have a lot of opportunities to ask questions. Now, none of these areas is gonna be a guaranteed way to get authorship on a paper. And I personally would recommend trying some combination of all of them just to maximize your odds of earning authorship on a paper. But like I said, the biggest thing to success is to not give up and to keep persevering through this. So if something fails, silently reflect on what might've gone wrong and then try something else. Always be asking questions in the lab meetings of the other researchers because everyone is really knowledgeable and everyone has different areas of expertise. You can learn something new from different people and you can really build a totally new project in a completely different direction than you were expecting just by talking to people and bouncing ideas off them. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you. I personally have struggled a lot getting publications and it was only until I got my scholarship and started really going to the 
journal club meetings that I was able to actually make progress in that area. So like I said, I hope this video is helpful for you. On this channel, I typically focus on pre-med related content because I am actually going through that process right now. There's a lot of people with a lot of qualifications that are giving advice on the internet, but none of them have gone through it as recently as me because I'm currently in the process. So if you want to learn about how things have changed and how things really are, at how they work right now, you can subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thank you.